Welcome back friends. Today we have another one of these D7s from Fishhead Custom Lures. It's a D7 Halo Chrome. <clears throat> and I'm going to try to paint a largemouth bass pattern on this and still try to preserve some of this halo effect. <clears throat> I already have the bill taped off, but I wanted to mention that when you receive these baits, these bills are wrapped in plastic film and a little bit of masking tape. And I'm sure that's to protect them during the chroming process somehow. And I just want to say that this is not a good enough tape job to go ahead and start your painting. You need to remove this and use masking tape and do a good job. Make sure you get your masking tape sealed real well before you start painting because paint will get underneath this. I promise you I learned that the hard way. So let's get started on this largemouth bass pattern. I have a little opaque white loaded in the brush and I got my pressure turned down quite a ways. I'm just going to kind of hit the belly real light with this opaque light. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the top. Rinse the brush out real quick. Don't need to clean it out real good because I'm going to come back with a pearl white now from Createx. Pearlized white. Just a couple drops. And I'm going to come along the belly again with the pearlized white. You can let this come up the sides just a little bit. Not much, just a little. And I'll give this a quick heat set. I still have a little pearl white in the brush. I'm just going to hit this belly again. <clears throat> I'll give it a heat set and I'll rinse out the brush. Okay, so we have it heat set. We have the brush rinsed out. And I have added some pearl lime green. It's a wicked color in the airbrush. <clears throat> and I'm going to spray this right along the back, right along the spine. Let it come down maybe about a quarter of the way down the sides. And that's all there is to that. Blow this paint off real quick. <clears throat> now I'm going to add a little transparent tropical green. And again, you don't have to use these exact colors for sure. But I do think if you can add some layers, it really does help build some depth and some natural look to your baits. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cover that, come down about 25%. If it wasn't a halo chrome bait, I'd come down further, but I'm trying to preserve some of that halo. 
rinse this real quick. And I'm going to come back with a little darker shade of green. It's a detail moss green. It's a wicked color. And again, just a couple drops will go a long ways. Always try to keep our pressure down when we're working with these halo baits too. So same thing, just come right down the spine, just build in a little depth here. Keep it darker on the spine, a little lighter as we come down the sides. <clears throat> Go ahead and spray my eye sockets here. Around the nose. Like that. Rinse the brush out again. Now I'm going to add just a couple drops of opaque black. Turn my pressure down. And just real light. I'm just come right down the backbone, right down the spine. I'm not going to go down the sides. Darken up the nose a little bit, like that. <clears throat> now I'll heat set this. Now I'll add just a few little drops of black to a piece of scrap paper. <clears throat> and I'm going to use an artist sponge. to help make some black spots. Right down the side. Right along the lateral line. And again, I'm not going to add a lot, just because I do want to preserve some of this halo effect. Just kind of get enough in there. Make it, make it resemble a bass pattern. <clears throat> Turn it over and do the other side. Just random little spots. I like the artist sponge for this, but you could do it different ways. You could use the airbrush if you're really talented, more talented than I am. I can't ever control spots very well with the airbrush. <clears throat> I do like using a fan brush for spots. That works well. Okay, like that, I'll heat set this. Okay, so it's heat set. 
I still have a little bit of black in the brush so I'm going to use this stencil and I'm just going to put a few little speckles up here on these gill plates just real light come over here and do the same thing like that so there we have it just a simple largemouth bass pattern on a halo chrome d7 I hope you can see that we have still preserved some of that chrome effect that halo effect <clears throat> that's what we were after pretty simple pattern to paint I'll give it some eyes and a clear coat I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Happy fishing. If you get anything out of these videos, please do subscribe.